Hi there. Well, in this video, I'm going to do a review of a product. This is the DigiNow digital tablet. It's 10 by six and a quarter inch and allows for you to do some sophisticated drawing from what I've understood in what I've read online about it. So I'm going to do a box opening, then I'm going to do a setup, and I'm going to show you some samples of how to use it. Full disclosure, I got this freely to review it, and I'm going to do an honest review. The people who sent this to me are not going to get to see the video ahead of time. They will see it when you see it. It'll be an honest and straightforward review, believe me. If you get anything out of this video, it would be helpful if you at least consider subscribing to my channel. I'll talk more about that later. So why don't we get started and open this thing up and see what it comes with. Okay, let's open this thing up and see what we got inside. Okay, looks like it opens up this way. Maybe I did it upside down, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, that should be right. It's got a user guide. I have to read through that and find out if there's anything I need to know different about this one. Let's take this thing. Oh, it's really nice and thin. Let's pull all this stuff out of here first. I've got two USB cables. It looks like a USB-C to a standard USB adapter. USB A to C adapter. And it's got a, looks like a micro USB to USB A. That's what these two look like here anyway for me. Yep, that's what they are. You can connect it a lot of different ways. Looks like here's the stylus. The stylus does not need batteries, very similar to the, the star pad that I reviewed recently. So you'll see a link at the end of this video to uh, an end screen to it. There we go. Yep, it's got a stylus already on it. And it looks like I have some replacements here. It's supposed to have eight replacements and it's got the tool that you use to replace it with. Inside a nice little plastic case, that's good. I guess it'll be less likely that I, uh, that I lose it. Okay, put that in here and save that. Oh, it's got a stylus holder. That's good. Oh, it looks like it snaps together like this. And the stylus can, I guess it can go either way. It can go like this or it can go like that. Well, that's nice. Anything else in here? That may be it. Yeah, that's it. Hey, let's take a look at the pad now. It comes with an attached USB type A. How long is this cord? It's about five feet long. Pretty good. That's a nice size. It's uh, canvas coated. It's got a red and black pattern, if that matters. <laughs> and here you go. It's got a bunch of buttons over here, some of which rep replicate a mouse. So the mouse up and down, it looks like. These two buttons here. It's got, each one is like a dual button. You can go space, tab, alt, control. There's a, oh, it's got a tear on it. Let me go ahead and take that off. Is that a, yep, definitely got a tear. Let me see how that sounds. That wasn't bad. It looks like there's some screen buttons here. Very similar to like audio controllers that you would have at the top of a keyboard. You could mute, you could make it quieter, louder. I have to test all that out. Okay, that's what's in the box. Uh, let me go ahead now and hook it up to a computer and see how it looks. Okay, let me go and plug it in now and see what it does. It suggests that I plug it into the actual USB connectors on the motherboard so I could go around to the other side. Oh, well, that reached. It's a good thing the cord is five and a half feet long. I was able to reach around to the back. Let's see what it did. Oh, it opened up a window here. And in this window, it shows a readme text, an auto exact, and a bunch of other stuff. Apparently, this tablet has a small SD memory to it. Not very big. It looks like it only has a size of just a couple of megabytes, but enough to support, you know, whatever files they have here. Let me open up the readme tells me some stuff about the graphics tablet, where it runs on, what operating systems. Talks about known issues, looks like Mac OS and Android. There might be possible issues with that. According to the instructions, I have to run this thing. Tablet setup v4. Okay, it's going to go through a standard Windows setup, it looks like here. And it looks like now it's installed. And see if I could run the tablet. 
Here it is, a graphics tablet. Let me click on that and see what I got. Well, it looks like here's where you can configure it. You can actually configure the, the stylus too. It looks like there's the two buttons that are in the stylus and you can set the top one for any custom control function that you want. You can also assign how hard you have to press. Right now it's set for zero, but I bet you can go up or down here. Yep, you can go up or down to whatever you want. And then it has an area here that looks like it's for testing the style. Let me try that right now. Let me use the stylus and see what it does. If I come in here and I, I'm pressing and I get to say, oh, here we go. Oh, okay. So you get to see how hard you're pressing. What if I come over here? Oh, I got an area here where I can practice writing at. Clear this out. This area is for testing purposes only, not a painting software. Okay. And I'm using a mouse now and you can change the language however you want. A lot of different choices here. Define the screen mapping. So I have three screens and right now it's centered on my main one here. That's actually got this particular program displayed in it. And you can redefine it here. You can crunch it down, expand it, whatever you want to do. Or you could grab it up here, it looks like, and you can make it cover more of it. Other screens as well. Okay. That's interesting. What is this? Oh, it went to full screen there when I did that. All screens. What's this one here? Oh, it makes it different size default drawing areas. 16, 9. Looks like full screen there. Then smaller. And then over here... It has another one, Define Keys. Now these are the keys that are on the tablet on the left-hand side. So there's a key that's labeled E with a big E. I was wondering what for. That's, I guess, to say the letter E. I guess some applications that might be a very common key to use for a particular function in the actual drawing application. And there's a B, a B button as well. It tells you which button we're pressing. You got your control and you can do the mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. You can use it to simulate the mouse by using those two buttons on the uh, pad. And those are all the buttons that are on the left-hand side of the tablet. I'm going to reset it back to the way it was and then get out of here. And then here it looks like if you have this Windows Ink application as your drawing app, you can check this. It must enable special functions for that to work properly. You could define it as left-handed versus, I guess the default was right-handed. And then it shifts the buttons over to the other side and you can turn it upside down. So I think that covers all of the basic features of this one. Uh, let me go ahead now and uh, bring up a drawing app and see how it looks. Okay, I've already shown you this during the box opening, but I wanted to point something out specifically here. And that is the writing area. So if you look very carefully, you see the writing area with four little triangle corners here. Two here and two here. That is the widescreen writing area that the stylus will have access to. However, there's one here for an Android smartphone. So you got two more right here and right here. And that is the size of the Android screen. So if you're using the Android to read this particular device and edit or create some sort of graphical object, then that's the area that you'll have to work with. Okay, what I have up here now is Paint 3D, and I'm gonna use my stylus here. And let me see if it starts writing. Oh, it does. Okay. If I wanna change, let's say I wanna change the color, I would come down, just have to hover over it here. I'm using a stylus and let me pick this red here. Let's pick this and I can come in here and write in red. If I want to change the type of brush that I have, I can come over here and pick it. And then I could change to the thickness I want to that brush. And I'll change the color as well. Let me change it to a nice green. Okay. If I want to pick a 2D shape, I can do that. Let's come over here and click on 2D shapes. And then I select which shape I want. Let's pick a triangle. And I can come over here and I can just make a tri triangle on here. And I click anywhere in here and it will save it. Okay, that's a quick little test. I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. I just wanted to show you how this worked. And I have the uh, inset, you know, showing but I'm doing the actual pad here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Well, that completes this review of the DigiNow digital tablet. Pretty good, don't you think? I think so.
I think I'll wind up using this if I ever have to do much larger forms than what I've done before. I had that little star one that I've reviewed previously. I'm going to put a little box up here that you can click on to see that review. But hopefully you got something out of this video, and if you did, at least consider subscribing to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Just click on the little head that'll pop up over here. And take care.